Hey everybody, Mr. Bookie Boo here with my July Lego City update in the month of August. Yep, I didn't make it with the update for July like I said I was going to try. Um, we had a lot of stuff going on this month. The kids are off for summer. We lost a, uh, a family member passed away. Um, I had my birthday uh, and I was away on a trip in DC for a few days as well and just uh, the months just got away from me. But the good news is I'm back with a city update right now for you guys to share and see what's uh, what's been happening in Bricksburg. So we're going to start off kind of here. Not a lot has happened in the main part of town. Just a few little things I'm going to touch on real quick and then I'm going to shuffle on down to the uh, new and expanded part of town. And if I sound a little funny, I've actually been finding a cold as well. So bear with me if I uh, sneeze or uh, cough or anything like that too. So the harbor is still a mess. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's uh, you know haven't done much there. The beach looking cool. I added the uh, fun at the beach set. It's really busy and it's popping for summer. Things are going really well along here. Uh, the viaduct, uh, not the viaduct, but the uh, I guess it is kind of like a viaduct. This thing here made a little bit of progress there. So I built the retaining wall behind over here behind the Grand Emporium. So that's finished now. So you can kind of see that. And then I completed the front one. I'm still trying to prototype the stairs. Um, those are just temporary fillers. I'm gonna do something a little more detailed in that section, but that is slowly but surely coming along. And you can see I'm kind of playing with the fountain in that area. The idea is just to have it be like a little park playground, maybe, well, I don't know if a playground, but like a, a little park area with some benches and trees. Uh, maybe some stand, like the hot dog vendor, or maybe add like a popcorn vendor, something along those lines. Um, <clears throat> the Imperial Recruitment Center is back in place. Now I know some of you guys were disappointed that I pulled that away. The police station, I temporarily, uh, my, my modular police station, which I'll actually show you in a minute, was there temporarily, but uh, the police station had some problems with the height. It didn't fit in with the rest of the modulars, so I'm actually rebuilding it. Version 2.0, it's Lego, right? You can always do that, and it's, it's, that's, that's the beauty of Lego, right? You can, if you don't like it, tear it apart and do it over again. Um, but for now, the recruitment center is here. My plan is to actually turn the recruitment center into a tower, kind of like Avenger Tower. And it's going to actually sit behind the modulars, probably kind of right where it is now, but just like behind as more of a, a ominous tower looking over the city. Um, so that's kind of more the long-term plan for that. Uh, just real quick, we can scan through the rest of the city here. You can see I did dust. So dusting is always a constant problem. I know you guys are always struggling with that as well. Um, my tools of choice are some nice clean paint brushes. So what I'll do is I'll take off all the cars and minifigures and I'll just go along the roads here. It's already dusty again, I can see. Just go along here and sweep everything into a pile. And then I just get a little vacuum cleaner and just suck up all the little dust bits. Um, but I did actually do that. And the modular, same thing. You just dust off the rooftops real gently and you just kind of get all the dust that way. It's, it works pretty well for me. Um, this one actually, this is really cool. My son has been working on this, my uh, eight-year-old. Um, so he wanted to create his own little stand. So uh, last thing I heard, this is like a potion stand. So it's probably like from one of his games that he plays. But um, so he's created this little potion stand right in the front here, which I absolutely love because he made that with his own design and his own, he came up with it all on his own. And uh, he's like constantly adding little bits and pieces to it. It's more detailed than my stuff. He's got, a, he's got an eye for this. So I think that's great. Um, moving along, you can see over here, ah, I don't know if I had this one last time. I don't remember now. So I got the um, the new bus and the bus stop. And so what I've done is I'm actually building, I modified it a little bit because I didn't like the, the way the, the official Lego set was. I, I rarely do, right? I'm always modifying these things. But so I kind of made it a little bit different, made it more, um, I gave it a little more structure here. And so that's the uh, bus stop. The new stand I'm probably going to rebuild as well. You can see that hiding back here. Uh, and we'll probably put that somewhere, somewhere, you know, maybe in, like in one of these empty spots over here. We'll add the newsstand eventually. The castle continues to get a little bit of work here and there. It's basically complete except for the landscaping on the top, which I'm slowly but surely working on. Um, you can see over here in the corner, I finally decided the Minecraft trees with a mix of like the official... Uh, what are those like cone Lego trees and some green slopes. I had to bricklink a ton of those. So that's kind of the look that we're going for. There's water in the moat. 
and um, still working on this area over here. We're gonna put some benches on the top, and then of course I have to flush out this this whole area um, right in here. But you can see that turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that all that looks. And this was the big thing over here last time was uh, turning the corner in Bricksburg. So again, a little bit of work here. I finished the, um, I have to do the interior, but the, the sandwich shop is pretty much done in the, externally. Uh, I just have to add the sidewalk, but add some, some tables out front. And like I say, the interior, um, this is that new, uh, Lego or one of the newer, I don't know, it's like the newest, but one of the newer Lego, um, townhouse sets from the creator line. And so this, I took the basic design, modified it. I got some inspiration online. A few few uh, people I follow on Instagram had some really great concepts and things that they did. And so I kind of used that as a, as a starting point and made my own design with that. I'm still not quite happy with the roof, but you can see that's kind of coming along. Um, this design, actually, this was originally going to be over where the um, where the Ferris wheel is and that little gap where the where the fountain is. Uh, but then I decided to pull that out and do the like upper level train station instead. So it ended up here for now. This is might be like a coffee shop, a pastry shop. I don't know. Um, it's still in the very early stages of development. But I had a ton of these medium tan. Is that medium brown, light brown? Meat, I don't know. Whatever color that is. I had a ton of those bricks and I had to use them up. Uh, so that's what I did with that. Now, as we turn the corner even more... This is what I'm really excited about over here. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the pictures of this. So I had the um, the Temple of Air Jitsu in my son's, my oldest son's room, because he was a big ninja, blah, big Ninjago fan. That's like a tongue twister. Um, but um, he kind of is not in Ninjago anymore. And he's like, Dad, I got this temple, and it's taking up like half, you know, half of my shelf space. Can you do something with it? So I said, Well, let me see what I can do. So I started playing around with this. Um, I ripped out all this is the mess but i ripped out the train yard the tracks don't actually go all the way around right now because i'm still working on this area but um i decided hey why don't we just start seeing how this fits in here and lo and behold i think it looked pretty good right there now the really cool thing is with the ninjago battle for ninjago city set that's coming out like in what a week um my plan is to put that where the police station is temporarily sitting while I work on it. But it's gonna sit right in here in this corner. So this is gonna be kind of like Ninjago world over here. Uh, I'm also thinking like behind the Temple of Air Jitsu, they have that new, um, what is that? Like the ultimate, ultimate showdown battle set. It's like that fortress looking thing. I'm thinking I might try to put that behind there as well. I might have a train like kind of go through it like a tunnel, like something similar to the um, castle. But, um, like I say, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. I only had to do minimal modifications. So I modified the front. Unfortunately, I had to pull out the bridge that connects the two um, smaller shops. That's gone because it had to fit on the curve. But, um, and I modified the fountain just ever so slightly to make it look more complete. And I added water to the, I mean, these little, like, I don't know, sub-fountain areas. Uh, little pools, that's what they're called. <laughs> Like I said, my head's kind of fuzzy today as I do this. Anyways, I added those little um, uh, pools with some water effects in there. I'm still playing around in the back here. I'd like to add another like water area. So I'm kind of messing around right here to see if I can add some, uh, like a little lake for them to fish in because the original, you know, had the fishing featured pretty uh, prominently. And then of course, um, the train, I I've been testing it. So it actually, you can see how it kind of fits through there. And um, I've got, if you look down here, you can see I've actually, I've got this, the um, walkways and stuff and the road plates all in, in place already for the roadway and the, uh, the crossing. I just have to add the crossing gates in that. And then over here, you can see version 2.0 of the police station coming along nicely. Now, the problem that I encountered was when I initially made the police station, um, the ground floor was kind of it was about one stud lower than it is now and next to the modulars I didn't even think about it at the time it was just too squat it looked funny it looked like the ground floor was like it's getting squished like a pancake um, compared to the other modulars so I took that opportunity to build it up I also added more detail so I got the uh, the modified one by one uh, bricks with a hollow stud in the middle where you can add and then added like the light bluish gray tiles to the edging here just to make it look a little more detailed 
I also added the shield, which ties us into like the whole old aesthetic of the city. Um, I really love the Lego castle line. That's like kind of what, like I started out with that when I was a kid. And so that's like my favorite. So anytime I can incorporate like little bits and pieces from that, I love to do that. So that's basically uh, what I've done. It's a little bit higher. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to modify. I think I am going to modify the second and third floor a little bit as well, just to make it, um, I don't know, just to kind of experiment a little bit and see if we can come up with a better design. Um, but you can see inside, you can see it's it's going to be a fully detailed modular inside. There's a jail on this half over here. This is going to be like the administrative part. And then, of course, the stairs going up. There's a courtyard kind of thing in the middle where you can, I don't know, I envision you could pull in like the prisoner transport. You could park some motorcycles there or a police car. Um, and then, of course, the upper levels, which are actually over here. You can see them hiding over here behind all the boats. Um, you uh, have um, uh, desks for the detectives, the police chief's office, uh, the armory for the weapons, and then, of course, the bat signal on the top. And I'm planning to staff the, ho the, the hospital, the police station, with the um, uh, Gotham police officers because I just think they look really cool. So that's, that's the plan right now. Um, and then as far as the rest of this area goes, um, I think I'm going to do a small like little harbor area right here for um, some of these big boats, which I have way too many of. I got the new, co I'm a sucker for the Coast Guard stuff, so I had to get that new Coast Guard boat. It's really awesome. And actually, you can see what I'm doing is I'm actually making it a little bit higher because the problem with this boat, with the design was, is all you could do is you could lay down a minifigure in here and that was it. You couldn't um, stand up or even sit. So I raised it up a stud and now you can actually sit guys inside there. But I haven't quite figured out how, I don't know how it's all going to come together. That's, you know, like, you guys, you know how it is. You have like 50,000 projects going on, right? It's, uh, I have like so many different Lego projects that it's like crazy. Um, but anyways, so this is going to be like a little harbor area. Not too much water. Uh, I think I might add that they got that uh, that Lego, uh, Lego Designs uh, Fishing Wharf set. What's that called? The Fisher Wharf set. It's probably going to go somewhere over here. And then, of course, this also gives me room for more modulars as they come out because I was pretty much almost out of room for modulars. So, that's it. Um, it didn't seem like a lot. Oh, and I painted. Almost. I didn't finish painting. I have to finish painting. But I painted all along here. So, it's like blue, 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 blue. And we got to touch up over there. Actually, look. I got to touch up. Um, blue, blue, blue. So, it's all blue all, almost all the way around now, which I think looks great. It looks a lot better than it did. Um, and then it's just filling in little touches here and there. So, uh, that's it for the month of July slash early August. I'll be back with another update later in August, and hopefully we'll have that uh, Ninjago City set over here in the corner next to the Temple of Arijitsu. We'll see how that looks. I got to get that, and I'll, hopefully I'll get that other set to put behind there, that, that big temple, whatever that thing's called. It's got that funky name. Um, we'll get that in there as well, and we'll see how everything turns out. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for bearing with me with my sniffles as I uh, get over this cold. And we'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll uh, talk to you soon.